Hey guys, what's up? It is Big Tech Boy 26 here and Tech Modder HD. And today I am reviewing my Nikon Coolpix S8200 um, digital camera. It is um, $340 from your local Future Shop or Best Buy or wherever you can find it. It can probably be cheaper. And I bought this last year. Actually, I got it for my birthday, but that's un not important. I have had to fix it, take it in to get it fixed twice. But do not worry about that with this camera. It is my fault that those things happened. First was because humidity. I took it to Mexico. And, um, yeah, and the second time was because of my own being clumsy and I dropped it and it shattered the screen. So don't worry about it breaking because those were both my fault. You know, so, yeah. And if you're going to some tropical place, it will probably be fine. Even then, Nikon gives you a, per a very nice four-year warranty with it which is free and it's exchangeable and like if you break it they'll exchange it not just fix it like this is my second camera of this same one so the top of it says Coolpix s 200 and left and right stereo microphones actually let me just go over top of it like this um, I'm just using my iPhone 4 to record this um, so that's HD rather than my iPhone 3GS which I'd regularly use Left and right stereo microphones, all your uh, your little uh, wheel there uh, to select modes, the shutter button, and zoom and zoom zoom in zoom out, on and off the speaker. You turn it this way. What you've got here is just a the strap that you put around your neck or your wrist. HDMI. It's mini HDMI out, and your USB to charge it. Around the front, it says just Nikon. Uh, that is the autofocus light. Sorry about the red color here. There we go. Nikkor 14 times wide optical zoom. Um, the zoom is very good. You know, like it says 14 times. It does have digital zoom, but I disabled that because digital zoom looks terrible. <coughs> um, the lens extends very far. As you can see, if I were to zoom all the way in. It's a lot larger than it was uh, before. It has a 16.1 megapixel sensor, and um, like I said, you know the zoom and stuff. All right. So the other side is nothing on it, so let's not worry about that. And along the bottom, we have the serial number, the tripod holder, the SD card, and the battery. If I were to remove the battery, let's take a look at it. All right. So it's a Nikon lithium battery pack. Use, it's the type is EN-EL12, 3.7 volts, 10, 1,050 um, milliamps, sorry, which is not too bad. Um, it, you know, <clears throat> get a, quite a lot of um, usage out of 12 or 1,050 milliamps and 3.9 watt hours. You know, the rest is just my serial number for my camera. All right, there we go. Uh, that's how you put in the battery. The front side, we have a select wheel, which you turn to go up and shut up one else, to go up and down on the menus and stuff. We've got menu and the the garbage can to delete, review and record for video. This is your charge uh, light, and this display is amazing. Honestly, it has such a good screen. It is a, I don't know what the resolution or anything of that, that is, but it's got a really great screen. Um, yeah, I'm at my dad's house, so. Oh yeah, this was just a video I shot with it. I would include this, but I do not have the cable. This was just shot with the internal memory. It has, I think, uh, hey guys, it's just, just view this. I got my camera. This was just my video announcing that I got the camera back, which you will see after this video. Because this video I'll be uploading and editing today. Um, but you can see it. The camera is actually focusing while it's recording because it does have uh, autofocus. And if you look here, wait, just give me a sec. Right here, it is in focus because you can see the beer bottle, which is only saved because this is my dad's house. This is his office and stuff. My dad's name is Leon, and that says Leon over there. But you can see in the video, I am in focus, and that beer bottle is not so I just wanted to point that out and also I think you have a info no you don't um, but you have copy and I cannot select that right now because I do not have a memory card in it but you can see 
if I focus as close as I can. I know this is just an iPhone, but you cannot make out the pixels. It is very high resolution display. And also this is the brightness on two. It goes up to like four. I don't know if that's actually four, it's five. Alright. But yeah, so I usually use two or one or two. I don't have to worry about the battery running out. It has very close focus, like if you focus on something very close by, it can focus extremely well. And that is in focus. It does not look like it. Yeah, it kind of does. But, um, yeah, it can focus very well, especially with the things. I can, like, say I put the, the camera lens right up to the screen, like right now. It's focused, and you can make out the pixels. It's very easy, but if I were to take this picture... Let's look at this. I would like to show you guys this. It's kind of cool. If I zoom in far enough, you can make out each individual pixel red, green, and blue. And that's pretty cool. It's easier to make out if I just took it of a white, of something white with white text, actually. It's easy to do because my iTunes needs to be upgraded. Okay, the lens is touching the screen. It focuses with the lens touching the screen. That's pretty impressive. It's a very uh, close focal point. Like I said, if I zoom in, you can already see it. <coughs> Sorry to keep clearing my throat, guys. I'm a bit sick, though. But you can make out each individual colored pixel there. That's pretty cool. One of the modes I thought I'd show you guys under effects is if I go to effects and then I go to... what is this? Menu. Oops, special effects. There's selective color. This is extremely interesting because you can do this without using Photoshop. Okay, so I know my office is kind of a mess with my dad's office, but so on the floor, there's an iTunes gift card and it's green. Alright, so if we go on the camera and I use my selective, let me just focus. Use my selective, okay, the camera's out of focus, not the video. Use my selective color for green. It will show up if it can see it. It's on blue right now. See? So there's no need for using Photoshop at all. I got my hands on the lens. Not on the lens itself, but on the outer lens so it couldn't turn as easily. And you definitely do not want to do that, as you will probably damage your camera. That is with full 14 times zoom. Sorry, my hand is in the camera there. But yeah, you can see, you know, the selective color feature is quite interesting because you don't have to use Photoshop. If I use blue, you can see the extension cord. See? There you go. I just think that's pretty cool. You know, like I said, alright, there's purple. See, it's just that's a very dark purple, so it doesn't show up. Got some more like cyan kind of color over there. Oh, the camera's not out of focus, it's the iPhone the sun. Okay, you can't see that. Okay, the front of my computer is well my dad's computer is green, has a green light. So if I go to green, all you can see is that. So you know, or my desktop background is green. Actually this picture was taken with this very camera. So <coughs> I'm sorry, like I said, I'm sick. Phew! Um, okay, God. Seriously? Sorry, my dad's computer is kind of slow. I used to use this for editing, so you can see all my, a lot of my old edits and stuff are on here, but very basic stuff, like, stuff that I did when I was probably 12. Um, I don't know if this picture was taken with this camera, I believe it was. Um... Yeah, like I said, it's pretty slow, but, um, because it's only got, like, 3 gigs of RAM and then Athlon 2X4, or Athlon 2X2 dual core, so it's not that great, but, anyways, and the flash is right here, it just moves up if it's enabled, and I purposely disabled that, but let me just show you guys it, I'm right, switching it back to auto, I generally use my macro mode because that's the kind of pictures I like to take. I put this on though. There you go, that's pretty cool, right? And it's obviously going to be bright. 
I wonder how that showed up on camera. That'd be interesting. Picture I just took. Yeah, but it's a very good camera. Um, so, yeah, I'd re very highly recommend it. It's very good for whatever needs you need to use it for. It has very good zoom. You know, I, I never really use the flash, so off. Alright, so, highly recommend it. It's great. It has a great lens. And if you have any problems with it, it's packed with a four-year warranty. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll put a link to buy this camera in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.